Hello, welcome back to Edexcel IT Guru YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about uh, network models and protocols. This video is the first part of Edexcel IAL Topic 2, Subsection 2.1, that is Network Models and Protocols. So, before we start, if you have not subscribed to the channel, press the bell icon and you will get notified when we add new videos to this channel. Uh, we are going to start this lesson by looking at what a computer network is. A network is any setup that links two or more computers and where they can share resources, exchange files or carry out electronic communication. There are many mediums that such computers can be connected. We will discuss that in a later lesson but for now computers can be networked using cables, telephone lines, radio waves satellites uh, or infrared beams uh, there are a lot of advantages of computer network we will learn seven of them uh, a computer in isolation can do so little but when it is in a network it allows us to access or share peripherals for example a single printer in your home can be shared with your laptop, your mobile and your family members' mobiles by sharing to or a home network. It also lets you share data, sending emails, sending instant messages, sharing videos and photos is uh, possible because our devices are connected to a network. Uh, next advantage is resource sharing. Since resources are shared, you can access the resources uh, from your device of choice than using a single specific device. Networking also allows you to communicate, sending emails and messages um, are a couple of examples. When a network is configured with the network administration software, you can centrally control and administer the devices on that network without physically going to each and every device. So you can also manage the users and control who can connect to what device and what resource. Uh, finally, a network allows multiple users to access the internet at the same time. So these are some of the advantages of networking computers together. We can find uh, different types of computer networks. They are structured to serve different purposes. The three main types of computer networks uh, that we learn uh, are LAN, shortened for local area network, and WAN shortened for wide area network and MAN shortened for metropolitan area network. Uh, there's also PAN, P -A -N, which stands for personal area network. A LAN is a network that is uh, uh, limited to a specific geographical area like a room, a building, a department, school or workplace. Typically, a single switch or a stack of switches connects a group of various devices and computers together. A WAN, on the other hand, is the opposite of a LAN. It extends over a large area but might be uh, confined within a state or a country. Internet is a collection of WANs. Sometimes a collection of various LANs may also constitute a WAN. A man sits between a LAN and a van in terms of uh, size and capability. A man covers a small area than that a van and a larger area as compared to a LAN. A man basically connects two uh, devices or more that resides apart but in the same or different cities. Uh, that's why it may be called as metropolitan area network uh, as well. A cable TV network is an example uh, for a man. Uh, now let's compare and contrast the three network types, LAN, WAN and MAN. The LAN connects a small group of computers while a WAN connects cities, countries and even continents. A MAN is larger than a LAN but smaller than a WAN covering towns and cities. Towns or cities. Uh, Second, the LAN are privately owned. Uh, the VANs are private or public ownership, while MANs also can be private or public ownership. When we check the design and maintenance complexity, a LAN is very easy. 
a van is very difficult while a man can be comparatively more difficult than a land but uh, not as complex as a van since a land spans short distances probably less than half a mile maximum they have a short propagation delays a man has moderate propagation delays while a van can face very high propagation delays uh, due to the vast distances it covers finally a land has very good uh, fault tolerance capability compared to the other two van has very poor fault tolerance capability while a man has lesser fault tolerance than a land so these are some uh, comparison between land van and man we now move on to the next section of learning the different computer network models available out there we will learn four computer network models namely uh, the client server model the peer to peer model ad hoc model uh, and tethering okay so let's start with the client server model these are the network models and frequently you get questions from the these areas the client server model uh, this is a distributed application framework it means that rather than the application or software running on a single computer the different parts of the software runs on two or more computer devices that is why we call it as a distributed application so the name suggests literally the distributed so the software is not running on a single computer but parts of the application is running on two or more computer devices the task and responsibilities of such an application are divided between the server and the clients for example if we want to access files in a file server the viewing and editing of the file uh, is the responsibility of the client software while saving the changes to the file without corruption inside the file uh, server is the responsibility of the server side software i hope you are understanding while client and server can reside in the same network there are no restriction to deploy them across different networks or even access over the internet this model uses a request and response structure between the client and the server the client always request and the server responds to the request the client server model is meant to serve multiple clients through a single server therefore a server can handle or service multiple clients simultaneously the client server model is the most popular computer network model and has evolved into many specialized model the internet for example works primarily based on this model next is the peer to peer model it's called p2p in short uh this is a distributed computing architecture it is the name as the name suggests uh, all the computers also called peers or nodes in a p2p model all the nodes have equal privileges and are equally important that is why they are called peers similar to peers working together in the same office or department uh since all nodes are equal in privileges uh, any node can establish a direct link to another node in the Uh, same network uh, therefore such uh, p2p model allows using the most uh, shortest or fastest path to connect with another node like if you see in the diagram in the on the screen you can see like uh, you don't have to go through a specific path to connect to a network all the peers are interconnected so you can get the shortest or the fastest path to connect with another peer another node another advantage is that since there are multiple paths between two nodes there's a no single point of failure and uh, it has high availability because even if one path is broken uh, you can take another path and connect to whatever the other node that you are uh, 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 that you want to so the uh, single point of failure is not a problem and it uh, allows the higher availability and very good failure tolerance but the downside of such a network is that if a, a rogue device connects to the network that node will get full accessibility and visibility to all the other nodes to all the other peers and that is potentially uh, access all nodes and their resources without restriction and that could be a high security and privacy uh, threat 
The third model is the ad hoc model. This is a temporary network connection between two devices and are limited for a specific duration. Uh, the two devices may communicate using cables or wireless cars, but if the ad hoc connection is permanent, then it becomes a LAN. So you need to uh, remember that this is a temporary network between two devices and limited for a specific duration. Ad hoc networks are used to share files between devices. Examples are like uh, sharing a contact card from one phone to another, sharing a file from a phone to a laptop. So those are ad hoc models. The final computer network model is tethering. It's also called a uh, phone as a modem uh, model since a phone is always involved as a network enabler. Tethering is where uh, uh, phones network internet connection is shared with other connected computers it can be done over wi-fi bluetooth or using cable such as a usb cable if the tethering is done by enabling a wi-fi access point in the phone then it is called a personal hotspot or a mobile hotspot but you need to be aware that mobile data charges apply to the data passed uh, through the tethered network. Also, when the phone is on a personal hotspot, the phone battery will drain faster since the phone works as an access point. So let's see some sample questions on the things that we have learned in this video. What is a computer network? So we will discuss the answers also uh, while we are going through the questions. So I guess it will be easy for you. Okay. What is a computer network? A network is a computer network is a group of two or more computers linked together to share resources such as hardware, software, data and communicate with each other. Uh, number two, what are the advantages of networking? I hope you, are, you can remember I explained the advantages with examples. So what are the advantages of networking? Can share the variables such as printer, can share data, uh, can do media streaming, uh, we can do communication like sending emails, Access we can access from any workstation and we can do centralized administration uh, by setting up user roles and privacy settings, security settings. We can set up access rights to yeah, different users and then uh, we can simultaneous access to the internet. Okay, uh, third one, what are the network types based on the geographical area? Oh, yeah, we discussed three network types based on the geographical area, LAN, that is local area network limited to small geographical areas like a room, building, department. And then we discuss about MAN, which is metropolitan area network, working on an area like a town or a village or a city. And then we discuss about WAN, wide area network, that connects computers that are remotely located, such as in different networks, towns, continents, countries, likewise. So uh, fourth question, what are the network models? Okay, what are the network models? Number four, uh, client, we discussed about four models, client-server model, client machines and servers access the network and uh, privileges depend on the access types. Mobile devices, computers and laptops can access servers through the network. Servers have higher storage, processing speed, memory than clients. Uh, so you can draw a diagram uh, of a client server uh, I have put on the screen as well. You can look at it. And when you are describing what a client server model is, it's uh, better to draw a diagram as well. The second model we discuss is the P2P, peer-to-peer -peer model. Uh, in P2P, all computers have the same level of privileges and peers can access each other. For that, this also do, uh, draw a diagram so that it uh, is easy for you to explain. Then we have the ad hoc networks. That's a temporary network set up to share data or communicate. And uh, this is also, you can draw a diagram with a mobile device and uh, uh, the connected devices. And then the fourth type we dis uh, discuss is the tethering, sharing of mobile devices 
uh, internet connection with other devices. This can be done over three ways. We discussed three ways uh, through Wi-Fi, uh, example, the mobile hotspot. And then we can connect through uh, Bluetooth. And then we also can connect through a wired cable, such as a USB cable. Number five, what are the advantages and disadvantages of tethering? So as advantages, uh, it's easy to give your device and internet connectivity through your mobile data when there is no Wi-Fi. And it doesn't cost extra and can tether multiple devices. And for the advantages, you don't need any extra devices or equipment. On the other hand, the disadvantage of tethering are tethering can eat up your mobile data. And uh, since it uses 3G, 4G, it's not as fast as Wi-Fi. And also, if you are in a broad, if you get only 3G, this won't work with roaming connectivity. Uh, another advantage is it can also drain your phone battery. If you are tethering to a laptop with a USB cable attached to the phone, the phone gets charging. So it can drain your uh, phone battery. Okay, so today we discussed the first part of the network models and protocols. Uh, protocols and uh, discussed about the possible questions. Our next session is part two of this lesson. And we'll be discussing on network communication protocols, uh, such as OC, uh, TCP, IP, OSI models. So stay tuned and good luck with your studies.